Making a Belgian mocha is like starting a business. You have to take it slow. But Catherine and Ruel Louage say the result is worth it. If you keep nurturing and then keep feeding and then keep whatever, your business will grow. It's Small Business Week in Canada and Sweet Belgian Desires is one of over 4,500 businesses in New Brunswick. Small businesses make up a third of the country's GDP and employs 48% of Canadians. Sweet Belgian Desires has been open for two years, but this isn't the first for the Louange family. They immigrated from Belgium seven years ago and say the challenges of business owning are the same in a big city or a small one. You may have 30 million people. It doesn't mean the first year that they will all run to your business and place orders. It really takes time. You need to get known. You need to spread the word. The confidence of business owners in New Brunswick has had its ups and downs. According to the Canadian Federation for Independent Business, half of owners say business is satisfactory. But there are some challenges that grow every year. We spoke with Richard Dunn, a policy analyst with the Canadian Federation for Independent Businesses, who said New Brunswick business owners were finding it hard to keep up with rising wage and fuel costs. 76% of business owners felt that rising fuel costs were a major concern of theirs. This is up 21% from last year. Minimum wage went up by a dollar this year and will be $10 by April. This has led some business owners to cut back on full-time employees. But despite these challenges, running a family business and serving their homemade dishes makes it all worth it. For Stu Journalism, I'm Laura Brown.